presence of Marilyn is still in this room. Lucille Ball Emmy Awards. We have automobiles, we have movie sets, we have cameras. We have a tribute to uh, the Emmy season and we have some wonderful costumes and shows represented. There are over 10,000 items on four floors in this museum, including the largest Marilyn Monroe collection anywhere. You could wear this. I would love Anyone to. Look every is bit as beautiful as Marilyn. Right now, I'll throw it on. <laughs> so, formerly, welcome to the Hollywood Museum. You're in the historic Max Factor building. This building is 100 years old, and it's where Max Factor built his cosmetic empire, and it's where the stars that got their looks that we remember them having. And, and we are in the Blondes Room. Ooh. Probably the world's most famous blonde became a blonde <laughs> in this very room. And of course it was Norman Jean Martinson yes. who later became Marilyn Monroe. There's also a redhead's room where, Mar where um, Lucy Ball became a redhead. And you're going to see a lot of Lucy memorabilia in there as well. He created these different makeup rooms, there's four of them. And it was all about your looks, your hair, your skin, your eyes. Then we're surrounded by Marilyn, items, costumes, personal things. Her makeup case is right here, her makeup chair. We have her favorite dress, which is this black one. She wore it in an afternoon performance in Korea when she was entertaining the troops. At the same time, she's on her honeymoon with Joe DiMaggio. There's footage of Marilyn uh, wearing this dress, you know, singing Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend to the troops, entertaining hundreds of people. Well, I can't help but look at these jewels here on the bottom. Yes, those are movie props as well. How to Marry a Millionaire. Those are the ones she's and swinging around exactly, and she's singing, exactly. right? Exactly. And I so. think you have maybe some little more macabre things over well, here. Well, people are curious, you know, there's always this fascination about her passing. August 5th, 1962, Marilyn is found dead. And we have the LA Times with this headline, tragic, tragic, Couldn't people could not believe this. So we have this, some items that were actually found in her home. There are some prescriptions. This is just a pres prescription of Decadron. The autopsy, you know, performed, you know. If yes. someone wants to come and check out these really cool artifacts, how can they come visit? We're open Wednesday through Sunday from 10 till 5. We're right in the heart of Hollywood, just steps from the Walk of Fame, steps from the Chinese Theater. We are the official museum of Hollywood.